Okay. And off we go to disappoint Arthur. I'm going to let down Pen Dragon. Oh dear. Mate, do I look like I'm wasting time? I am walking back out the door here. See? Watch. Walking. 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 Jumping. Traveling. Oh yeah, I was meant to go there. <laughs> I have the memory of a fish. I really, I really do I have the worst memory under the sun. Oh, I remember that the T fifty one. Do you want to come out? Mine! And also. So, the reason I don't take Nikki Valentine, well, other than this night comment, I meant to say Vault 81, not our. Vault, yeah, Vault 81, not Vault 88. My, my slip, sorry about that. Um, the reason I don't take Nikki Valentine is quite simple. I did do the Brotherhood walkthrough once with Nikki Valentine. And standing there and went to speak to Nikki after I'd done the Brotherhood ending and all the rest of it, and top of the mass fusion building, Arthur Max and Stanton there and uh, the next thing other than the comments people will come off with the next thing Arthur's exact words to me were Knight, the company you keep leads me to uh, doubt your judgement as a soldier and I was just like okay that, that, I just got really put into my place there so from there on in, I've kept Nikki Valentine away from also Hancock. I don't bring Hancock either. Um, Actually, I should probably just stay in my power armor. Be a better idea. Just get into it. Stuff it. And this is the only time in the game until they get round to sorting out PS4 mods. <laughs> He's still liking the ring I'm doing. That I can get dance out of his power armor. Until they can get the mods on the PS4, this is the only time I can get the dude out of his power armor. So, right now, the dude is out of his power armor. And I stole his uniform as well. Oh, now that cap really does suit you without the power armor. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know until Quinlan got that message. I thought since were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxim even want me alive? Hell no. <laughs> Please. Uh, no. Uh, 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 u
Suppose they broke it and held my head. I mean, I feel like I've been in control of my entire life. Making my own decisions, determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a sin, I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. Why does any of this even matter to you? You're obviously here to carry out Maxon's orders. Does he even want me alive? No, no, but I'm hoping there's a way out. He doesn't. Look, he wants you dead. As a doornail. This must be very difficult for It's you. been hammered many times in the floor or a wall. Or a door. I'm a sin, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Max, you're betraying the brother of steel and everything it stands for. I'm not betraying Max. Sins can't be trusted. I won't hide from Max from what I've done. To make their own decisions. He wants to shoot me, he'll shoot me. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No? No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you risked your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? Because I just said so. I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Haley. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Yeah, there is that little problem to deal with. Actually, I might have a solution. The only clear choice is for me to leave the common. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my hands off. Use them to prove that your mission is a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Do you really think Pendragon is stupid enough to actually fall for the fact that when I turned right and told him I wasn't doing it, that there wouldn't be a little chance that you were actually going to walk out of this place? Seriously. Um, if I honestly... You know, if they had done the game where Pendragon hadn't have, you know, had actually have followed that whole idea, you know, I'd have doubted it. Yeah, you go on, I'll be there in a minute. This place has got loot. Oh, get into the lift, you mad woman. Why hasn't this place got elevator music? <laughs> <laughs> Deep breath. See if here we go. How dare you betray the brother? It's not my fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Night. Why is this this thing not been destroyed? Uh, yeah, I can ask you how you find me and you're going to say I already had doubts you could carry it through, so I'm not going to tell you your order's ridiculous because I do agree, like, since she'd like be wiped out, it stands. He's still alive because, because you're wrong, wrong about him. Him? Dance isn't the man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown up in the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. All I've done for the brother. I should agree with him. How can you say that? You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. 
millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushed the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. I actually agree with him, yep. You're comparing dance to a nuclear bomb. This machine might not be a bomb. But he makes a good companion. I need to crack shot. Not as good as you, but you know. You least expect it. It delivers a lethal blow without warning and without mercy. A precision strike delivered right at the heart of the enemy. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built in the confines of the laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the brother, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the brother, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust. And I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen a great new life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this anymore. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity. And I thank you for it. Whatever you decide. Know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touch it. Either you execute dance, or I will not. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I've made, and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Trust and respect, you'll lose us both, he saved lives. You want to see a look of shock on Arthur's face? Here it is. If I earn any of your trust or respect while I've served the Brotherhood, then I gladly trade it to keep Dance alive. You value this machine's life that much. I didn't do it. It appears we do does it in a close up of his face and his wee eyes go like wide, like what? Did you insist that he remains alive? Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance. As far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this brotherhood unit. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the prison or speak to anyone from the brotherhood of steel. Should you choose to ignore me, no, you will be fired. Immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank, Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of her. I'm returning to the Prigwin night. Take some time. Say you can with us. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. Yes, boss. Well, oh, naked one. Hey, hey. It took a hell of a lot of guts. I'll put you in a suit, but it won't let me. <laughs> oh. So what are you going to do now? I've decided to stay here. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days in this old listening post. But it will have to do. Besides, you're still going to need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let you want my common with alone. Now, you better get back to the crib. In the meantime... I'll start making this bunk a little. If you ever need me, I'll be right with you. What about him? I don't think Maxine knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened. It's the least I can do. Are you gonna have a problem killing Sims? I might physically be a Sim, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. 